Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I hope I started your day off pretty good. Well, we're going to give you some information to help you make changes that you need to be aware of. I've got Dr. Tanya Altman. She's here to tell us about the growing concern about lithium coin ingestion. What is happening with it? Dr. Altman, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you for having me on. Good morning. Okay, what is this about lithium coin, which are batteries, the ingestion of them? What's happening there? So lithium coin batteries are small, about the size of a nickel, and found in many common household items, such as remote controls and key fobs. And when you have young children in your home, they are curious by nature, and how they explore the world around them is often by putting things in their mouth. And this can be especially dangerous when it comes to lithium coin batteries, because they are just the size that they can get lodged in the esophagus of a child, and in as little as two hours cause serious damage to the surrounding tissue. So Duracell has created the Power Safely campaign and checklist to help educate pediatricians like myself and parents and caregivers to help prevent such accidental ingestions and identify potential hidden dangers in your home, as well as tips to make your home a little safer. And this can be found and downloaded at Duracell.com. Duracell and the American Academy of Pediatrics, they've teamed up to give us this power safety initiative. So what are some of the things they advise for us? So the checklist can goes through all the different types of places and devices where lithium coin batteries may be in your home. And it also has a list of tips, such as storing such items up high out of a child's reach, making sure the batteries are secure, and also keeping loose batteries away where a child can't get them. In addition, I tell parents that when you are buying batteries, you want to choose ones with child secure packaging, such as the Duracell 20 millimeter lithium coin battery that has bitter coating to help discourage a child from accidentally swallowing it. Dr. Tanya, and I want you to know as a working mom, and a UCLA-trained pediatrician practicing in California. Dr. Altman, this is great information. How come we don't know about this? We know about buying and replacing the batteries, but how come we don't know that they're dangerous to our kids? Well, as a pediatrician, this is something that I've, you know, seen for years and has been an issue because kids, as we mentioned, like to put things in their mouth and it can be so dangerous if they accidentally swallow a lithium coin battery. And that's why I am so excited to partner with Duracell and the American Academy of Pediatrics on the Power Safely campaign and help educate families across the country. So I encourage all parents to talk to your pediatrician, ask questions and visit Duracell.com and download the Power Safely checklist and go through it in your home to help keep your home a little safer for your kids. Dr. Tanya Altman, thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show and bringing this to our awareness. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.